Hi guys, I'm Mark and welcome to our channel. In this series of videos, I'm showing what I've packed within my survival bag. Um, I've already got several knives and there are reviews on older, other knives in the past, but I wanted something a little bit meatier. I'm a big fan of watching Forged in Fire, where blacksmiths compete against one another, building knives within a restricted time period. And the Kukuri uh, was shown a couple of weeks back and I'm a big fan of our Gurkhas and I fancy the Gurkha Kikuri. So I've gone online, bought it from um, American Amazon. It's made in Nepal and this is the unboxing. Um, I ordered it Saturday and it arrived on Wednesday. So very quick delivery times. Uh, looking at the box, uh, it was checked by French Customs. Um, the one a little bit alarming thing is that it says it's a souvenir. Um, I hope not, I want the real thing. So let's open it. Got my uh, bushcraft knife to open. Looking forward to this. This is the uh, Kakuri Service Number no. 1 Rat Tau. Um, it's the Gurkha issued Kakuri. So it should be the real deal. Looking forward to this. So uh, there's a card within the box and it says X Kakura Kakuri House, the real blade of Gurkhas, official Kakuri supplier to the British Gurkha. That's a nice touch. And I love the bit at the uh, bottom. It's better to die than to be a coward. Wow. Okay. Wrapped up nicely. So we've got box, paper, and our bubble wrap. Now, that's a knife. Okay, I can see straight away it's coated in oil. Let's just wipe some of this off. Wow, that's lovely. It's a real chopper. It's got a ten and a half inch blade, five inch uh, buffalo horn handle, and a brass pummel at the end. I'll just see if there's any markers. Now I've read on um, Amazon that not many people have got um, anything stamped on the knife, but it actually, nice touch, on my knife, it's got Nepal and uh, there's also a serial number on the opposite side, FGKT, I believe. Um, it's got a one inch, or one, sorry, it's got a one, almost a one centimeter spine. Comes in at one and a half pounds. The blade is 10 and a half inches long, handled five inches with a brass. It's made of spring leaf, um, lorry leaf uh, steel and it's supposed to be a real chopper. You'll notice on the handle there's actually a ridge. Now with the Gurkhas this is used to clear jungle but it's also a weapon and you'll find with most stabbing uh, knives there'll be a finger guard here to stop your hand moving up because when you hit a blunt object the natural thing is your hands move up and you find um, a lot of people who have been stabbed by someone that perpetrated using a kitchen knife. There's no finger guard, and the perpetrator normally cuts their fingers. But the Gurkhas have got round this by having the ring around the handle. And that basically locks your hand onto the handle. So in a stabbing motion, your hand stays there. And basically the way this is designed in combat 
is it's a stabbing tool and then slashing. Feels very heavy, feels like a small axe. Um, I love it. Let's see how it performs. Okay guys, I guess the first test is see if it cuts the hair on the arm. And yes, that's razor sharp guys. There's all my hair on there. Lovely piece of kit. So that's razor sharp. We'll see how it tackles some bamboo in a minute. It does come with two small knives as well. Within the, you've got a small skinning knife. This one here, not very sharp. And there's also a blunt knife and they use this for sharpening. Um, practicality, not really, but uh, they're there. It's a nice little piece. Um, and it's got a buffalo um, holder as well. All in all, really impressed. What did I pay for the Kakuri? $76. Came out to about £65. So, compared to the prices of my others, to give an example, my Mora Bushcraft, that was €54. Euros, so, around about £50. So that, or well that for 65, for me, that's good value for money. Very disappointed with this one, I had to sharpen this one up. This one has come from the pool, it's arrived within three or four days, uh, razor sharp. Let's see how it performs on some bamboo. Okay guys, the Kakuri is supposed to be for clearing jungle and so forth. Um, we've got some bamboo in the garden, so let's see how it performs. Okay guys, there's a couple of little rolls there. That's not good. And if you can see that, so a little bit disappointing. Okay guys, we'll see how it uh, performs on just uh, a bit of bamboo. As you can see, very sharp. Although a little bit disappointed with the effects of what the bamboo did to it when I tried chopping it. So that's not good. A little bit disappointed with that. As you can see there's a couple of dinks. One there. And one there. There's also a, I don't know if that's a stress fracture, fracture in the knife. So again, a bit worrisome. I was expecting more from that. So a little bit disappointed, the fact that What's that one centimetre bamboo has caused that damage when tried chopping? Okay guys, I guess uh, everyone likes to see the paper cutting test. So after the bamboo, after we've got a couple of little nicks in the knife, let's see how it performs. Still very sharp. Where that's cashing is on that nick. As soon as it hits the nick, Now, that's as sharp as the uh, Mora though, even with the nick. So for a big wieldy knife like that, I'm still pleased with it. Overall impression, 65 quid. I still think it's a good knife. Uh, very disappointed with the nicks. That shouldn't have happened. Um, 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to get those out or not. The buffalo horn as well, got a few marks on it. There's a small chip at the top, just here. Disappointed really, to be honest. I expected the quality to be better. Will it do the job that I want it to do? Yeah, I guess it will, but I don't know how long it's gonna last, to be honest. Definitely not as good as my axe, and it's not as good as my top quality knives that I've got. My um, Jack Claw knife and my Bark River knife. Paid a lot more money, but they really shine compared to this. Um, and my small forest axe as well. Um, that shouldn't happen. One centimetre bamboo and get dints in the blade. Oh well. That's the chance you take, I guess. Oh, while we're here, let's have a look at this small knife. They say it's uh, for skinning. Let's see how sharp this is. Uh, a lot of people have said it's blunt. It's very blunt. That's not going to skin anything. So again, I need to work on that one. And this one is totally blunt, but then that's supposedly a sharpening knife. I don't know how that would work. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, review on the Kakuri Service One. Um, I'll only give it three stars out of five because of the dinks. Um, impressed on how it looks, but performance. Still, it'll go in the survival bag. This can go in my uh, car survival one. Um, a little bit lost for words, to be honest. Okay, I hope you have uh, enjoyed the review on the Kakuri Service One. As you can see, the way I am, a little bit disappointed, but hey, 65 quid for a, such a large knife. Okay, so what did I expect? Um, if you stick around to the end, there's a preview of Naomi's Filipino cooking channel, where Naomi cooks some wonderful Filipino dishes, all presented in English, for you to cook at home. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, review, and check out my playlist for fishing and bushcraft, and there's a lot more reviews on bushcraft items. Thanks ever so much. See you soon.